Welcome uh, to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Part 13. This is Ron Moore along with Tibbs and BioPhoenix. Hello everyone. Yo. Yeah, so I am finally in the Lake Fed Temple. I think it's going to get deep. <laughs> yeah. I gotta get this is the first dungeon in the game that stumped me a little bit. Yeah, it's time to get good, kid. <laughs> Got my first yeah, item. Oh, it's arrows. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, this one is like probably one of like the easier or not as annoying um, water temples in Zelda games. Yeah, I think this is easier than the Ocarina of Time temple. Yeah, or the the Majora's Mask one. I also didn't like either. I uh, love the Great Bay Temple. See, I, oh. about, I don't. I've, I've only beaten Majora's Mask one time. After that, I never played it again. It's not that the thing. The boss it's a bad sucks, game. but the I, temple's I, good. Yeah, it's not that. It, I think it's a bad game. I just, it just did not get me hooked. It didn't want me. Didn't make me want to play it again. So I really don't remember much of Majora's Mask. Yeah, that's how. Like, I'm like that too. Where I kind of like some things about it, but like every time I try and replay it again, it, I can't like play through it because I don't know. Like I just don't like it as much because of the time limit and all that kind of crap. Yeah, and I don't know who's more annoying, Navi or um, Tattle, or whoever was your guide. Navi, it was Tattle. Navi all day. Well, I don't know, because uh, Tattle's a jerk. But so is Minda, but Minda is so charismatic, Tattle was just annoying. I wanted Tattle tail on her. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. It's like... One of them is named Tattle, and the other one's name is Tail. Yeah. <laughs> Mind and, blown. Yeah, and Tattle, though, <laughs> at least, yeah, Navi was more annoying. I'd rather hear ding 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 then. Hey! Listen! Uh, and this, this wall temple is much more beautifully designed than in Ocarina of Time. All the dungeons in this game are ECW. Yeah. <laughs> It's been a while though, I mean, I've beaten this game only once, and that was in 2008. So, uh, 2007, late 2007, I think, early 2008, so uh, I kind of forgot what the rest of the dungeons look like, but we'll find out as the LP progresses. Well, after this one, the game really gets interesting. Oh yeah, yeah I, I agree. Alright, so, the camera's moving somewhere, it means something's about to happen, or there's something to see. Jaws comes out of nowhere and eats your face. Yeah. <laughs> Who's this douche? <laughs> he was easy. I like how the. I like how this. I like how this temple has actual like door doors. Yeah. And I it's love fancy. the. I love the Zora armor better than better than the Zora tunic. Yeah, because the Zora tunic really didn't do anything except help you breathe. Yeah. Well, is this the same? This one actually functions. Oh, well, how? Like, I thought it was the same thing. I was saying it looks better. I didn't know it does actually something different. Well, this one, you actually swim with it. Oh, kind of like the frog suit Mario 3? Yeah, because if you were wearing the normal green tunic, you would just kind of swim along the surface. You couldn't dive. Oh yeah, and plus, can you swim smoother? Like, just hold the button down, and it'll, you'll just swim. Like, you do I think it. exactly. Yeah, I think it's only like a couple seconds. Yeah. More arrows. Come on, give me some keys. At least your keys fail. Isn't the batch called keys in the original? <laughs> what was that? Yeah, isn't the the in the original game bats are called keys? Yeah, keys. Or keys, keys. yeah. Oh, I hate these things. They look like keyses. I want to sit down and eat some Reese's. Fail. I'll tell you, though, as if I didn't hate bats in video games enough, playing the original Ninja Gaiden games has really made me hate bats. All right, oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Bats the birds. Yeah, I remember uh, ABGN's review of uh, Dracula games and Halloween special yeah. 2008. Why is there so yeah. many freaking bats? That's actually one of my favorite episodes from him, actually. 
Mm -hmm. Kick him in the face. Yeah. Uh oh. I think I hear what's his name. We'll get to that in a minute. Yes, either a compass or a map. Right, let's go back oh, over you, here. Were you referring to the the alien chicken thing? The yeah. Coco? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the thing that cannot be explained. Yep. <laughs> yep. It can't be risen with. Not what could, but it it's weird. You gotta shoot yeah, this. This was the first dungeon. This was the first dungeon in the game that kind of made me think the first time I played this. Yeah. The first game I played that made me think was Salmon's Quest. I think that was actually the first Castlevania game I ever played when I was a kid, and I had no idea what I was doing, but it was fun whipping zombies. Me too, exactly. I did not know what I was doing. It's the first Castlevania game I played. First one I played was the N64 one. <laughs> yeah, those are good. Oh, I feel, I feel sorry for you. Yeah, well, I still kind of liked it at the time because, you know, I had no idea what to expect, and I didn't even know what, like, the older ones were, so... So after that, I just never went back to it. But of course, you know, like best part of the game was skeletons on motorcycles. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I often <laughs> think about stuff like that. Like, I wonder if there are any kids today that their first exposure to something like Sonic is Sonic 06. Oh, I never <laughs> played. <laughs> I never played Sonic 06. But I I just heard a lot of bad things about it. Oh, I've played it and. Yeah, you're you're not missing much. Be glad you never you never experienced it. I think even ABGM, watching people play it hurts me. I think not even Jim, but I think James and Jake, 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 James and Mike Mondays might have played it. Yeah, they did once. Uh, the game so, grumps played it all the way through a long time ago. I bet you they were grumpy after that. This dungeon right here, you got to make the stairs rotate off and on before you can advance further. Oh, here he is. Ugh. Oh, boy. Dude, Ronnie's long lost brother. Stop getting stuck. <laughs> That's Jeff's long lost brother. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I, I fell asleep in here again. Hey, thanks for waking me up. Yeah, sure. We do commentary. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This guy keeps getting stuck in, in jars. Link don't look surprised anymore because he's seen this guy the third time now. But the first time he got him, he like, what the heck is this? If if you looked at Link real close just there, it it, it like reflected light on him as if the damn thing was glowing. <laughs> They're shiny. Oh. Um, oh, more detectites. Yeah, doesn't like a tectite mean like a form of like glass bodies or some shit. Yeah. I think so. Did AVGN read the definitions of some of those? The, some of the yeah. Yes. Yeah, I, I, that was like a part of the description. It was like, it was something like that. I can't, there was another part to it, but I, I can't remember. Pole's voice. <laughs> a giant rabbit's head. <laughs> yeah. What was the one where he tried to make up a different name for it, but then he found out the name of it is actually what, it, what it's supposed to be? A like likes. Like, no, it was like, uh, no, like a spider or some, some enemy. I forgot, like, well, what are these, uh, uh, tactinoids? And then he actually read the definition and, and is exactly what it was, what it appeared to be after, uh, after all. Oh, okay. I think it was the rocks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's a rock. I should have yeah. known. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Dwayne Johnson's? Nope, the rocks. <laughs> And those up. Whoa! Wait a minute. What, what the, the hell is that thing? Man, a weird uh, crackhead grasshopper. <laughs> the crackhead grasshopper. Let's get away from that. <laughs> I was gonna talk about those armored armadillos. What is this, Mega Man X? Remember those guys in Majora's Mask? They go gack quack, gack quack. Oh yeah, aren't those the frogs, right? Oh no, the tur yeah. turtles. Yeah, there were some amphibian beasts. They'd like hit you with your shell, and when you were trying to follow the monkey. 
Uh. Whoa. Hey, is that uh, Lizalfos from Ocarina Tom? Yep. Uh, yep. They actually look cooler in this one, and also they're, they, the sound they make isn't as annoying. Yeah, I remember fighting them in the, uh, what was it, the Fire Temp? No, the, the Dongo's Cave? In yep. Ocarina? Yeah. In Skyward Sword, they can be a bitch to fight. Uh, Darn Abadillo again. Better use the Spark Shock for the weakness. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, is that crackhead grasshopper in a bubble again? Well, I hate to burst your bubble, punk, but you mess with me. <laughs> You're gonna <laughs> get popped just like Bubble Man. Oh, Link's climbing a vine. Time to take a nap. All right, yeah. <laughs> Be sure to take a nap. Yeah, it's like in every game, he always goes up vines really slowly. Well, he, he, he was a little bit faster in Ocarina of Time, but on here, they I guess they wanted to make it look more realistic. I don't know. I do remember it being kind of slow in Ocarina of Time, but I don't remember. Man, it's a long way up. Oh, another key? Oh, another water bomb. Or ten of them. Well, am I fully stocked? Look at this. He climbs the ladder slow, too. At least Mega Man climbed fast. <laughs> yeah. And Mega Man can actually yeah, shoot on the ladder. Yeah. I remember someone, I think, uh, it might have been one of my Mega Man videos, I forgot, saying, Mega Man's a horrible character. He's the worst video game character ever made. He can't do anything. He can't run. He can't jump. He can't flip. I'm like, really, dude? <laughs> like, who cares about how, if he can't, if he can't flip or whatever, he can, st like, he can still acquire other robot shoots things <laughs> uh, other robot masters weapons and he has a slide and all these power ups and stuff uh, one just, of my favorite so things to do in mega man games is when you're climbing a ladder with him when you're almost all the way to the top like right before you reach the top he'll be like slumped over it it's like he's throwing up oh yeah <laughs> yeah sure. and he blinks at the time that was, that was innovative like whoa a video game character blinking instead of standing there yeah, it must have been a pretty crazy time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, more keys. I actually got killed by those windmill things once. You get, <laughs> really? What, you got crushed or something? Yeah, it can happen. Oh, ouch. More Castlevania gears. Well, you ever, you ever wonder? You have... Oh, sorry. You're, you ever wonder what the practical purpose is for a lot of the stuff you find in these places? No, what do you mean? Like the way these dungeons are set up. Like, like, what's what's the point of their existence? Like, what is all this machinery supposed to do? Oh, I guess to make it function right and for certain things. Or like, what would like the person that like owns this place would like do with it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been a, uh, a place where they had slaves back then to work and make the water flow. I don't know. Kind of like Goron mines, except they weren't slaves. Or Gorons that just uh, dug holes and or did whatever in the mines. And the forest temple, I don't know, maybe some ancient civilization lived there one time. The monkeys. Yeah, that would make sense. You know, they got a channel called The Game Theorist. This should be, we should start a channel called The Overthinkers. And <laughs> The Overthinkers. Yeah, and just uh, say, hmm, I wonder what this area was once used for. Rumors have it that back then in the 1700s, there were ancient civilization that were slave drivers. And jellyfish ruled the underwater. I don't know. James and Mike were actually part of a group called the Overanalyzers. Did you ever see that? Uh -uh. No, I never. More bombs. They did stuff like that. 
And then, of that's course, a chest. I think there's a heart piece in these parts in a similar nook that I missed the first time. When we, when we over analyze these video games, some haters might say, stop overthinking and just play it and enjoy it for what it is. Don't question it. <laughs> Wrestling fans are the same way. Yeah. Man. I've watched a countdown today yeah. of like the top 10 gaming stereotypes, and the number one was that gaming is for children. Right, yeah. When I was 20 years old, someone told me, man, 20 years old still playing video games, man, really? But my, but my friend was stood there and he goes, when I'm 80 years old, I'll still be playing. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, why stop? That same person is either a hypocrite or has a double standard because years later he bought a PSP. <laughs> now you might say, I'm just using it to play DVDs or UMDs. Nah, nah, nah. Or also, what was the other? What was on the list? Uh, not Jericho's list, but the list you talk about. Was it? Oh, people play video games live in their parents' basement. Yeah, that that we're all single. That it's only for for guys. That they can make uh, people violent. They can make you stupid, etc. Actually, that's true. I'm single. Oh, that's <laughs> anyway, whoa. What the? Whoa. Oh. Oh, jeez. All right, well, I'm getting ready to fight a Contra boss from Shatter Soldier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Jeez. Looks like he ate well over Christmas. Yeah. Oh, all eyes are on me. Can he actually see out all of those, I wonder? Right. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, talk about me being single. Can I single-handedly beat this boss? Yeah. <laughs> These late Zelda games have some weird bosses. That shadow of his frog body makes me think of Blaster Master. Huh. Oh yeah, the frog boss in that game. I'm not too familiar with that game. I had to talk to Skip about that. You gotta play it, Ronnie, someday. Yeah, it is a pretty good one. No, that game's for kids. <laughs> It's uh, you, know game, you know what's a game for like, real men? Is Dora the Explorer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Star I'll tell you this right now. If a kid of like 7, 8, 9, 10 years of age could pick up and beat Blaster Master on their first try, I would bow down to them. Yeah. But uh, speaking of kids' games, Star Soldier and Jay, I think, reviewed Fisher, Fisher Price fire, uh, uh, fire Truck game or something. <laughs> oh, one of the Fisher Price games? <laughs> yeah. And how did that go? Uh, yeah, they totally hated it. <laughs> they ripped the game apart. <laughs> uh, that's great. Whoa. It threw up a treasure chest. All right, this has to be the hey, why not? dungeon item. You did Barbie. Yeah, it's true. Got the claw shot, yes. Yeah, it's true. We did do Barbie. Man, that was a weird one. Yeah. I did Barbie, uh, I think, three times on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Three times? Yeah, uh, let's Three? check out. Three? I think I only saw two. Uh, uh, let's check out in 2008 uh, the unfinished LP on S2K in 2011, then the finished one that B. Jeff and Bob Phoenix did this year. Yeah, that. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think he did it three times too much. Yeah. I can only watch so much of that game. Yeah. And I tried to think that I like, well. It might have been fun for girls back then, but because it's easy for me as an adult to say, oh, this game sucks. It's for girls. Well, duh. But what about from a girl's perspective back then? I don't know if a girl Cut actually bought that game, though. That's what I wonder. Yeah. Cut to a 10-year-old girl in those days. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, some kids know when stuff sucks. I remember uh, in college... This woman had to bring her little, probably like eight to ten year old daughter with her to sit in in class with her because I guess couldn't find a babysitter, and we had to watch this stupid, cheesy, goofy bi biology video about photosynthesis. They try to make it cool, 
a rap song during the oh, whole thing, on. a newscast saying, oh. all right, woo, 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 photosynthesis is awesome. <laughs> and they start singing to the music video, and the 10-year-old girl looked at her mother and said, that was stupid. <laughs> Things oh, on YouTube. Those, those videos been, are always so cringe. Yeah, it might be on YouTube, like photosynthesis uh, rap video or something. Oh, man, I, I posted a comment saying, I watched this in my college class years ago. It was the cheesiest thing I've ever seen. The rap song's like, photosynthesis, da, 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 and then when things grow and the sunlight hits, da, 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 so, I don't even know the lyrics. It was <laughs> stupid. Yeah, I actually wonder if the people that made that like got paid enough. I, I hope so, because they're probably getting beat up every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Do we have enough for medical bills? Jeez, how can they? I probably think they're college students too. Maybe in college they can get away with that. If they were in high school and junior high and did that, they probably get beat up in the schoolyard every day. <laughs> Just like those those games like Crime Patrol and Mad Dog McCree. Sometimes you look at those people's faces and they're like, "Why am I doing this?" For the money, I need the money. My wife is bleeding me dry. Yeah, I think some they like in some of those games. I think they actually had like some pretty decent actors at the time, which is amusing to think. Yeah, it, it was just the uh, you know, like the script for them are so bad that they just kind of didn't give a shit. It's funny you say I that. I would say the same thing about plumbers don't wear ties, but you don't actually see them move. Yeah, and what was the uh, crime patrol? The, the the one of the detectives in the first part of the game. Uh, I know, uh, man, he's like have a fat guy and curly hair. Yeah, um, I remember. Him? Yeah, he looks like, um... He, he looks he like, like, the, he like he... the guy that's in this game, he looks like the... You know the guy you have to rescue after you collect... You have to collect all the pose? Uh, <laughs> he looks like him. <laughs> that's what it looks like. I said, that's the guy from Crime Patrol. <laughs> That's great. We'll see that a little bit later on, probably the next part or so. <laughs> it shouldn't be too too long after we beat the Lake Bed Temple. We'll, we'll see that guy. That's him after he retired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he goes, so, hey, does anyone remember when I was in Crime Patrol? Yeah. He goes, no, I've been cursed to be this way because I did Crime Patrol. Get I begged to kid. do the sequel, but they wouldn't let me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the acting's so bad, they're like, get good, kid. Right, and this, uh, yeah, the more temple music in Ocarina of Time wasn't that bad on here. It's, I think it's kind of more ambient, maybe. I actually like the music in the Ocarina of Time one. I know it's relaxing. Yeah. The Skyward Sword water dungeon is only like half of a water dungeon. It also has this really dark underworld part to it. Yeah. Uh, I, I really need to actually like get farther in that game because every time I play it, I'm like, I always get tired. <laughs> it's a tiring experience. It'll make you retire. It's, it's worth playing at least once. Yeah, see, that's what I want to do. Like, I want to at least finish it because, like, like from what I played a bit, it it is good. It's just I find the motion controls in it are kind of annoying. Yeah. Cause I like 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 the open well it's not really open world but you know like I like the um like the world that you're they get to like fly around in and stuff. Yeah. And the graphics in it are pretty nice too. And of course, you know, you get Ah, <gasps> oh, dang it, <laughs> fail. I was gonna say, uh you also get like the best freaking character ever, Groose. <laughs> oh, I love him. Yeah, he's freaking hilarious. Bruce Lee? <laughs> Bruce Lee? Uh, Bruce Lee. <laughs> I am, I am, I'm surprised it hasn't been a meme yet. I am Groose. Come on, climb it right. Get good, kid. I was about to say, Ronnie, what are you doing? <laughs> right? <laughs> well, that's not me playing. It's someone else. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> Liar, liar, Jim Carrey. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, was it good for you? I've had better. Jeez. 
<laughs> I'm kicking my ass, do you mind? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, are you jelly? <laughs> I'm mad jelly. I'd say that thing is jelly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's probably, they probably gave us some sort of creative name. Mag Magellan? Magellan? <laughs> There's this kid in school named Miguel. If you call him Magellan, he got pissed. <laughs> oh. Thought I got blown up there. <laughs> Once again, contradict the laws of physics. Just throwing a bomb underwater. Yeah. You know, they should have sent Link to fix that BP oil problem years ago if he had the Zora armor. <laughs> By the way, has anyone ever played uh, Aquaman on the GameCube? No. <laughs> no. Okay, that's good. <laughs> what, the game's good or it's good we haven't played it? It's good that you haven't played it, because it's awful. <laughs> and, if, and if it's not good, then... Get good, kid. Oh, I fail. <laughs> yeah, the you gotta... Not, I was gonna say, if the game's not good... Whoa! If the game's not good, Some it's not games you can't. Get good. I tried to get good at Action 52, I couldn't do it. Jeez, why even bother? No one can be good at Action 52. I wonder if there's... <laughs> I, I never see speedruns or anything, I haven't tried to look it up on YouTube. Well, I think, like, I don't know, like, there's some games in that game that are, like, pretty much unplayable. Like, you can't even get past, like, the first level in freaking, um, non-human, I think it is. And yeah, and Ooze, uh, they offered, like, like $10,000 to anyone that could beat it because no one could. Well, it's because <laughs> no one could because of the game not allowing people to do it? Like, because of glitches or messed up programming or because it's that, that hard? No, because it's messed up. Well, see, that that don't count then, because, I mean, if it's messed up, that don't count. <laughs> That's probably why they offered it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and what was it, uh, Alfredo? I didn't, Alfred, think it worked. I didn't think it worked, but some people had copies, or some someone somehow made it work. The ROM. Yeah. It works on the ROM. No, I didn't work on my ROM. Yeah, like, there are, um, well, it's your emulator that has to uh, work with it, uh -oh. I think. I use Nestopia, and it works on there. Oh, I forgot. There is one YouTuber that actually did, I think, beat some of the unbeatable games on there. Uh, he goes by the name of Skip Rogers. Oh. Yeah, well, I should have known. Yeah, he did Skip's that. not human. Seriously, he did a, uh, yeah, he did that video in, uh, 2000, not 8, 2009, How to Win at Ashes 52. <laughs> Skip is so badass, he even beat, beat Cheetah Men 2, which no one else ever has. Right. And the part where AVGN got stuck? Nope, Skip didn't get stuck. Yeah, it was like, what, like, you can only, like, get to a secret area by, like, once in a blue moon? Yeah. <laughs> or something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, uh, Bond Phoenix is talking to Skip right now. Yeah, he's uh, telling me saying that you need to get good at Zelda. What? Well, tell him uh, if he can do a live stream action 52, then I'll get good at Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> I would watch that. Right. Imagine Skip doing a live stream. Yeah, I, brother. Did you ever see his post that he made in a um the 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 selling group where he was selling a coffee of uh, action 52? <laughs> yeah. He said he was selling the game for the same price it cost years ago. <laughs> you know, I picture Skip as being the YouTube version of Chris Jericho. Right, yeah. You don't, a, want to be, you don't want to be on Skip's list. That's a pretty funny analogy. <laughs> yeah. No, I picture <laughs> Skip Rogers as James Ellsworth. Oh. <laughs> That's probably what he looks like now. Like Gilbert? <laughs> Yeah, Gilbert. Who win, Gilbert or James Ellsworth? 
That's one of those Gabby J. Glass Joe situations. Right, yeah. No, James Ellsworth will win because Gilbert passed the torch. <laughs> I like how they kept the, uh, what is it, the Nehru symbol on the doors. Oh, really? I didn't notice that. Well, yeah, all, all, the region, all the regions in this game are a take on the names. Like with Din, you have El Din, Faror, you have Farron, and Nehru, La Nehru. Huh. Interesting observation. I didn't really know that. I'm a big geek when it comes to Zelda. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding, but... <laughs> It's fun to know little stuff like that in any game. Yeah, so I take it you have the Zelda Historia? Yep, yep. Yeah, I, I figured. I have it too. But yeah, it's a pretty awesome book. He also has the uh, NES Ultimate Guide from Pat the Punk. Pat the Punk? Pat the Sea <laughs> Punk, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pat the Punk. Sounds like a bad rap album. Oh! I got punked out right <laughs> there. A freaking Bubble Boy from Seinfeld. Oh! Dude, these guys are sick that you keep walking... Sick? These guys are pissed off that you keep walking by. Sick. Yeah, they're sick in the head, alright. <laughs> <laughs> they look sick. I got a freaking Bubble Boy from uh, Mega Man 1. These guys are WCW. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you have to uh, if you get close to their bubble. They need their they need their personal space. If you paint their bubble, they get pissed. <laughs> they must be millennials. Hey, so was Logan, but he actually seems mature. Yeah, well, that's the different thing. It's the majority of millennials that are like, you know, complaining about stupid things. Yeah. All right, oh, there we go. Now, I first got to this temple, I was like, what are these things in the wall? And I had a feeling it had something to do with something later on that I had to do. This claw shot's much more advanced. You can, like, uh, move down. Like, it, you know, it, it, it can, uh, like, when you grab onto something with it, you can pr propel your, not propel, but uh, lower yourself down. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I think every Zelda game since Link to the Past has had some variation of this. Yeah. <coughs> Is this the compass? Finally, jeez. Yep. Like 33 minutes in this dungeon, I finally got the compass. Link's got psychic powers. Items just float in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Go up the ladder. <laughs> Get up there! Yeah. Ronnie and I were laughing our asses off when he went into the fishing hole cabin. The look on his face. Oh yeah, Link had- Oh! Well, well, this ain't Slitterbond, this is like an evil Slitterbond. He stopped sliding just for that second. Yeah. But yeah, the fishing, uh, if you go back to part- watch part 11, Chris, uh, he walks to this fishing cabin, the look he has in his face, like, <laughs> Whoa, look at this with the fishies and, and pictures. And <laughs> he looks stupid. Yeah, was I there for part 11? Huh? Was I there for no, part 11? I mean, part 12. Part 12. Oh, part 12, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, part 12. Like, he, he just had his look on his face. <laughs> Like how I would look if I walked into a wrestling store or something. <clears throat> Remember WWF New York, that restaurant? <laughs> that never happened. In a restaurant? <laughs> yeah, I did, uh, wrestling restaurant, like just, I don't know, I thought it was dumb, I didn't even care about it. That's probably why they shut it down. They had, like, a, they had a football league too. Yeah, and they try to make movies like... Just stick to wrestling, Vince. No, well, it's not wrestling, it's entertainment. Thing. Jeez. Yeah, so that's the difference between him and his dad. His dad actually did wrestling stuff. 
It's a good thing Triple H is there, like, helping uh, do things, especially with NXT, because it feels like wrestling is coming back again. We're going to get back to wrestling. <sighs> yeah. Let's just have a death match. Winner gets to take over WWE. <laughs> Like, Did you hear what Stephanie said about CM Punk the other night? I thought yeah. that was great. Savage. I haven't watched wrestling in a few years, so I have no idea like what's going on. <laughs> this year actually wasn't bad. No, it wasn't? Nope. Well, that's good. The, Cruiser the Cruiserweight Classic was awesome. Yeah, and Owens and AJ Styles are on top of the business. Guys can actually wrestle instead of forcing John Cena down our throats all the time. I can't even take that dude seriously anymore. Yeah. Just keep Kevin Owens away from your children. <laughs> oh, yeah. AJ Styles is the face that runs the place. Apparently a friend of mine got blocked by Kevin Owens on Facebook because he wanted to know who he was. <laughs> yeah, Kevin Owens blocks a lot of people, especially on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny. He's too savage. He seems like the kind of guy that would try to keep kayfabe. Yeah, he's a little too savage though. Well, I guess he's doing he's playing. His, I'm sure he didn't really mean it, but he played a heel character real savage the other night. I think it was. He told this old guy, like, is like probably a grandpa. He goes, "Listen here, grandpa, blah blah blah," and he said, "Well, you're going to die in five years anyway." Like, wow. <laughs> wow. It's dark. Yeah. Remember how the Dudley boys were in ECW? Yeah, they went too far with the fans. Like the, they they grabbed a beer out of one guy's hand one time, and just threw it right in his face. And like that, okay, that's that's too far. Yeah, well, no, the Sandman didn't do anything like that, from what I recall. And he did it to himself. Yeah, he just smashed his own face with like beer cans and shit. <laughs> Yeah. The salmon would party with the crowd. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I think one of the, I think Dudley Boys is talking trash about this one, this girl and her mother about their whores or whatever, and and like, uh, I think they tried to spit at the Dudley Boys. Dudley Boys spitting right back, so it looked like a spit fight. It was kind of funny looking. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Another one of those Bubble Boys again. Go this way. Yeah, a geyser. But geyser? <laughs> Holy geyser! Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Imagine seeing these in real life. Jeez. You just took out those small glassy bodies. Yeah. And I hope those boots are waterproof. Yeah. Well, they have flippers, so I would imagine so. Don't get crushed. <laughs> <laughs> this temple has a crush on Link. <laughs> yeah, about time someone does. Yeah. Well, I think, uh, well, Ruto did. It didn't like pretty much everyone like Link. Well, as far as women? Yeah. Um I, yeah, I know for sure Ruto did. Yeah, Princess Ruto Ruto, whatever. And um S S Saria from the you know No, the they village. were just friends. Oh. The only females though that I could think of that are actually like swooning over him are actually in this game, spoilers. <laughs> oh yeah, Telma. No, I, I, I'm the three girls outside that mini game. Uh, I think I think well, Telma's flirty. She flirts everybody. I think she really wanted um, what's his name, the shaman of uh, Kakariko Village. Kakariko. Yeah, or Jamie Crack, say Crackhead Crack. Village. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was gonna say Crackhead Village. Yeah. <laughs> All right, almost done here. <clears throat> this took 
me while I figure it out. I kept on like jumping on these switches. Well, where do I go now? Where am I missing? <laughs> Yeah, this one did get a little bit confusing the first time. Zen Zelda Xanax. Zelda fanboys watching saying, Man, you need to no, you need to go this way. Man, you're dumb. I ain't no faggy cheat codes and I was four years old and beat this game. <laughs> hey, yes, hey I'm man enough to admit I got stuck here. Yeah, but seriously, there's a comment on my uh, it, the video's taken down now because of quality issues, but like in two thousand seven, two thousand eight Someone posted a comment in my Captain Skyhawk video. I think I told it. Yeah, I told the story before. I don't know if Chris heard it. Oh, I uh, think I've heard it before about Captain Skyhawk. Yeah, I bashed Captain Skyhawk saying it sucks and the ending is garbage. It just says game over. And uh, I was cheating in that in that review. And he goes, Captain Skyhawk's a great game. You just hate it because you suck at it. I beat this game when I was four years old, and I did I did not need any faggy cheat codes to beat it. While you're playing games that are 20 years old, I'll be getting laid later. <laughs> yeah, well, honestly, that game does suck. Yeah, I didn't respond to that, because obviously, even back then, as a noob on YouTube, I knew it was a troll comment. And, you know, I know, don't beat the trolls. But he's lucky I wasn't Swindell or J-Man. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Oh, boy. What? Jody's telling me, no, you need to get on that fool. I said, no, nah, man, it's a troll. I don't even respond to that. Just, I'll, just leave, I'll leave it up for other people to troll him. Stop that fool. <laughs> yeah. He'll probably respond saying, as I bust you upside the head and a gap proceeds an inch in your skull and your blood oozes out of your eyeball and ants, and your blood gets instantly covered with ants. <laughs> or something like that. They'll go into detail. Oh, jeez. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, watch, you know watch an SC2K video called Now That's ECW. Yeah, that's what it's called. Now that's ECW where I narrate an old post that Jody posted on S2K.com years ago. He was actually roasting Venom. Venom and Swindoll kind of roasting each other back and forth, like messing with each other. And Swindoll got into detail. <laughs> so you've now signed your death warrant. And then all this gory detail, what he's going to do to him. <laughs> I loved it when you two played Super C together. That's like the best. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, man, 2008. That was one of our first ones. Well, we didn't do too many reviews together. The last one I think we did was Street Fighter 2 Turbo, low budget review, January 2009. And oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, Super C was one of our 2008 reviews. That's where we did all most of our reviews was 2008. Man, you don't even know. Yeah, it has better graphics. No, 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 it has better graphics to argue with me, damn it. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm about to have to go swindle on the boss here of the Lake Bed Temple. This ain't the boss, there's two pots. What is this? Oh. <laughs> yeah. The fairy is the boss. Yeah. Let's go down here. Uh, oh, whatever. Yeah. This is freaking scary. I mean, me, I can't swim anyway. If I fell down here, number one, I can't swim. I'm drowning. Number two, I see this. Where am I at? See, if I was in this situation, I think I would die. Yeah, I think a lot of people would. Because <laughs> I'd be, like, shitting my pants when going down there. You mean die of fright? Yeah. I thought you meant die from what what's about to occur here. Well, no, yeah, I would die from, like, being, like, scared because like being in like really deep open water is like creepy yeah like that movie man nintendo nintendo loves eyeballs right more more feel more feel yeah he's a heel so if he becomes a good guy it would be more face <laughs> Oh, jeez, no. Yep, see? He grabbed you. He yep. grabs you more. Feel. There's no way. You'd be dead. Why would he let go after that? Yeah, normally you would just die. Yeah, I need help, Midna. What should I do? <laughs> it's like, well, you got three lifelines right here. So you can either call a friend or 50-50 um, yep. or uh, ask the audience. Or cheat. 
Yeah, no, target. Just... Way to break the fourth wall. Yeah, or use someone else's footage. <laughs> ah, there we go. Got you. There's okay. a little thing called ECW mode. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about Jax here. Go. Gotcha. Oh, something fishy's going on here. Oh wait, those are those are fish bombs. What are those? Ah. Right, that, that was it three or four hits, I think. Ouch, that's my glowy eye. Oh, no. I oh, need that to see. Oh, for God, that's only the first part of the battle. Link, you better throw that bomb, it's gonna blow up on you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the longest I've ever seen a bomb, like, not explode. Yeah. <laughs> it's like on The Simpsons where that guy holds the grenade too long. Kaboom! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's turning into Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. At least to hold on to that bomb. <laughs> hey, now you barely go. <laughs> that be messed up if, like, because you're frozen right there in the cutscene, it just blows up and, like, damages you, or if that was the last part of your energy, you die. <laughs> you die during a cutscene? Yeah. <laughs> right, so now I gotta. Here we go. Climb onto his back and then. Hit his eyeball. Oof. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's squirming too. Yeah. Yeah, this is some Shadow of the Colossus shit right here. Yeah. Nice, that's it. Easy dumb! Easy dumb! Hooray! He just stands right the eyeball, King! Ah! <laughs> You're still not ball, Jerry. Can't do that. That's illegal. Can't I, gal? <laughs> oh, he ran head first to that. Oh, oh, now the water's receding. Oh my God, he smacked into the wall. Yeah. Good, good <laughs> God, he just went head first. Oh, old school Jr. and WCW. Good guy, he just hit his head. He just hit his head in that wall. Smack dab. He's gotta be out cold. Nobody can get up from that. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, King and JR were like the best. Yeah. He just hit his head in that concrete! Michael, Michael Cole would be like, oh my! Yeah. He just hit his head on that hard surface. That must have hurt him. What, what There's the last of the fused shadow. You You're finding shadows here. All those tight cloth thanks. Yeah. So his power is not true. <laughs> Guess not. I bet you'll prove it. Yeah. Well, hold on, let me get my heart piece no. first. No, I want to go fishing. Yeah. <laughs> you can't anymore, the water receded right here. Fuck saving the world, let's go fishing! Yeah. <laughs> let's go play Go Fish, the card game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that is the end of part 13 of the Late Bed Temple. See you guys in part 14. What will happen then, now that we got the all three of the fused shadows. Until then, God bless. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, and also, See this you. is the last video of the year. So, Happy New Year. Happy Woo! New Year.